Hey, beloved, where have you seen God today? Do you know what an icon is? An icon is a visual representation of something, usually Jesus or Mary or the saints, and they help us to pray. If you're familiar at all with Catholic or Orthodox faith traditions, you might be familiar with icons. They're not used quite so much in mainline Protestant traditions, such as United you know, Methodist traditions, but I do know some who use them. This is an icon called Christ the True Friend. I love this icon. It's a really, really nice visual representation of Christ with a friend. I got it at a spiritual retreat a number of years ago, and I'm going to talk today about how we can use icons or other kinds of visual things that we can focus on in order to help us pray. Now, as a reminder, I'm going to be sharing lots of different spiritual exercises, and the truth is that not every spiritual exercise works for every person. This may or may not be something that you enjoy with a visual focus as your way of praying. And if you don't, that's okay. You'll find a different way of praying that might work, but this is one kind of prayer that we call contemplative prayer, something that helps us to contemplate God. And so rather than a laundry list of things that we want from God or that we wish God would do or pouring out our heart to God with speaking, which those are good ways of praying, rather than doing that, contemplative prayer is a way of, of trying to center ourselves or contemplate the mysteries of God. One of the ways we can do that is with an icon or a visual focus that's something like an icon. Now here's how you can use an icon or some other visual thing to pray. What I want you to do is find something that, that, that is meaningful to you. It could be a cross maybe that's hanging on your wall or, or maybe you have an icon or if you don't you could perhaps find one and print one out. Maybe you have a, a beautiful picture of a landscape that just speaks about God's beautiful creation to you. Find something that you can focus on by looking at it for a number of minutes. And either maybe it's, something, maybe it's up on a wall, it's hanging up on a wall, or maybe it's something you can hold in your hands or, or place in your lap. Do you have that? Okay. Now with that, what I want you to do is take a look right at that image. I, here, I'm going to use my icon. And I'm going to look at it and I'm going to focus on it. As I look at it, I'm just going to stare into it, almost like, you know those magic eye things, like you're staring through it? It's almost like that. Just contemplating what this image might speak to me today. I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. I'm going to put an image up on the screen as well of Christ the True Friend, this icon that I'm using, if you want to use that this time. And then for three minutes, I'm going to invite you to just look at it and, and, and just allow God to invite you into that image that you're using. Don't try to pray specific words or do anything. Just let the image speak to you.
and come on back. How was it? If you're not sure, or if you think it might not be for you, try it a few more times. Use the same image over and over. If that's still not working, try a different image. And you know what, after a couple weeks, if it's not working for you, try a different type of prayer. And it'll be good, because at least you tried, and now you know what works for you and what might not. As you do, also be looking for where you might see God today. Not only in your prayers, but throughout your daily life. In whose face do you see the face of God? In what acts of kindness do you see God's compassion? In what places do you see beauty that God has given as a blessing? Where do you see Christ today? Where do you see that message that you are God's beloved?